Today my name is Olalade Ibrahim and this channel is about navigating through navigating life through my experience and experiences of others. Once again, uh, I give some credits to Psychax and a video that I saw on YouTube that said I married a monster. If you haven't seen it, I highly suggest you watch it out and don't mind my, my, my hands, my hands are really dry right now. I should probably cream them. But uh, oh well, talks about odors and sniffers, but that's not the main basis of this video right now. This video is gonna be talking about fantasies and relationships and how they correlate and something that I realize that really correlates in between the two and the video I married a monster is I believe a good example of what I'm trying to explain. What I realized through my short years of living is like we men and women we all have fantasies and most of us aren't looking for a relationship we are looking for our fantasies to be fulfilled. There are different types of fantasies. There is the Prince Charming fantasy. Under the Prince Charming fantasy, you get the trophy, trophy wife fantasy. The Prince Charming fantasy, I hope you know, but if you don't, I will explain. The Prince Charming fantasy is the, is the high value man that looks upon one woman and goes, Oh my God, you are the only one for my life. You are the only, where have you been in all my life? Oh my God, you're so beautiful. If you look, that that story is always like that. That's a movie. Is it a movie or a series? Bridgerton. I'm pretty sure that's the name on Netflix. I haven't watched it, but from the few clips and scenes that I've seen, I suggest it's one of the Prince Charming type of fantasy being sold to women. And I believe if their their targeted audience is most likely women, most likely. I haven't watched it, but we'll see. The next fantasy for for a female is the wolf, is the aggressive man, is the guy that they want to tame. For example, Beauty and the Beast. The guy is a beast, and he, she ended up taming him to become uh, uh, a, a a man again. But they never shows you what happened afterwards. In movies like this, they never show you the 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 relationship. They never show you the actual relationship after the fantasy has been fulfilled. Which would correlate into are you a holder or a sniffers? This is these are things that I've realized after after my few years of talking to women and also asking myself some few questions. I started to realize that people really don't want to be in a relationship. I started to realize that women don't really want to get married, but they do want the marriage. They do want the ceremony. They don't want the marriage, but they want the ceremony. They want the ring just to show their other girls like, oh my gosh, look at me. I'm I'm married. If they don't really want the marriage in the in a true sense. I, I, I'm not trying to I'm not trying to attack women or anything like that. I'm just trying to note what I've seen. What I've noticed rather, not necessarily seen, not what I've noticed about women in general. And the, there's also the male fantasies. The, one of the male fantasies is the chase. Is a guy that chases a woman for like, I don't know 16 years. He climbs through mountains, slays the dragons, and finally, finally, he was able to get her. Finally, she was able to look in his direction. And oh my gosh! Now, normally, when she's probably been Chad thunderstruck, you know, she's been. That's when. The, she probably comes to you, but yeah, I'm not gonna go on down that path. They, they, they never really show you the after effect as well. They never really, I don't, at least I don't think so. They just show you that the guy has been chasing her, chasing her, chasing her, chasing her, chasing her, and at the end of the day, he got her. He got the woman of his dreams. It's part of the plot scenes where everyone goes, chase her, chase her. What are you doing? Go after her. She's yours. She likes you. She wants. Go after her. Go after her. Tell her. Tell her. Everyone gets so, so entire good into the storyline. Everyone take get really invested in the fantasy that is being portrayed. And people go home thinking, oh my gosh, I want that, not knowing that it's not necessarily real. 
is a fantasy for a reason which you can chase it you you can create the fantasy in your relationship but that there are prices that needs to be paid now the other one is a ride of die ride or die this is this is very very known i want a ride or die chick i want even the sense the 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 idea of marriage is a ride or die thing a woman that will be there by my side and they'll, they'll go through the ups and downs and just know that's that's a fantasy now i'm not saying none of this is possible but the possibility of any of them coming through and actually lasting leading to a quality relationship between a man and a woman is small and the right of diet sort of um, fantasy is a male type of fantasy which is also like the, the marriage sort of fantasy which i guess is dying as of lately in the 20 what century 23rd century that we're in right now 23rd to 23rd century and yes and one second hello i'm back again yes what i've realized about life is that people always tend to chase fantasy the younger we are we the more likely we are we're likely to chase fantasies uh, we we tend to not know the price that we pay for such fantasies which is sad and i, I mean the face of shedding that fantasy and grieving the the life that i would never have well, which goes on to my next phase or the next thing that i realize is social media tend to glorify love the glorification of love seems to be very 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 intense you go on tiktok you say if your man isn't doing this does he actually love you like people people will tell you how a love should be for example shara what's her name the girl that the girl that made this video that she said she was listening to the other girl. I can't remember. Ah, she has, ah, I can't remember. The one, the sprinkle sprinkle lady. I'm pretty sure you know her. And if not, I don't know. Type in sprinkle sprinkle on YouTube. And most likely she'll come up. 9 out of 10. The sprinkle sprinkle lady pushes a fantasy. She doesn't push a, a genuine good relationship she pushes pushes a fantasy towards young women or older women to that to the fact she pushes the fantasy of a trophy wife and a trophy wife is someone that that does not work she she keeps her own money while she takes the husband's money as well and she does whatever she wants because she's a trophy wife this is a fantasy this is not i do not believe this is a healthy relationship i i, I don't I, I don't even I wouldn't suggest any woman to be in this relationship but you do what you have to do I am not yet to uh, to judge how you want to live your life because I believe that soft relationship is very transactional very transactional and sort of prostitutional e it's like it's giving off prostitution vibes I, it's, it's just giving off it's giving off if I'm say this if you, you you cannot pay for love you cannot pay for friendship you cannot pay for intimacy well you, you, you can pay for intimacy but if you have to pay for it it's not really intimacy it's not the, it's not really it's not really what we 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 we, we want it's not really the it's not really it's not really of quality let's say yes it's not really of quality and if you have to pay for your woman to be there she, she, is she really your woman she's just like, i don't think she's really your woman she's there for the moment she, she's there for the highlights she's there for the season i don't necessarily call that woman your woman but you can also call her your woman if you want they they, they push the fantasies and i married a monster she was one of the people who bought into the trophy wife fantasy and People do not know the prices they have to pay. Well, she paid the price, but she would. People like her and a uh, master, the, the, the girl, the woman she was looking up to, they will never tell you the prices that you have to pay for the fantasies you want to achieve. I married a monster woman, got graped four times. Four times. I don't think she loves herself. I honestly don't think 
someone who loves themselves so much will be in a relationship that of that caliber four times the bef, before the first time you should have been seeing signs but let's say the first one shame on you shame, shame on him second one shame on you third time four times four times within a span of few months she said but she would never tell you those things because she's also trying to push the ideology the fantasy of a trophy wife this is something that i re realized and also andrew tates andrew tates is the also person that is also trying to push a fantasy of i am a strong man look at me i am a strong 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 man while he while he he, he, he steals from you and makes makes you basically weaker they they they're like they're like snakes anyway which will go after all the fantasies has died out it will enter a re the relationship phase the relationship phase is there are two types of relationship phases according to psychics which i believe is the case once again that guy is amazing i love his videos one of the um things that i also realized is you're all either a holder or a sniffer holders are people who in my what i realize what i notice in my case is like holders are people who want to keep the fantasy alive older are people who want to keep the image of, of who they think their partner is alive in their brain do not tell do not tell me how many people you slept with do not tell me who you like do not do not do not tell me because that will break me not it's not necessarily them you're breaking you're breaking the fantasy they have of you in their head which is really 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 painful it's a very painful process i've been through it <laughs> trust me i've been through it it's a very painful process to realize that the things that you've been believing in and in, in the, the things that you believe is true is really not true now the sniffers the sniffers are people who want to show them tr their true selves who want to show who they truly are which is really hard and difficult for people to ask people like that i believe to be in a relationship which is a phase i believe i'm in right now and i'm contemplating to be a holder or a sniffer but honestly i want to be a sniffer i'm i believe i'm naturally a, a, a sniffer i realize i tend to shoot myself in the foot in relationships i tend to tell the truth and the truth is not the best things to say if you want to give people the fantasies they want if you get what i mean people don't really get into a relationship for a relationship now i might be different it might be different for older cohorts old, no, no, older people probably like 30s and older i'm not 30 i'm still in my 20s but i'm talking about younger people in this case we are very in the fantasy phase of a relationship where you know we're in love we're this and once that fantasy has been killed the relationships sort of start dying off and the fantasy is mostly put together by you know, strings of lies that's what i realized you tell the woman i will be the only one i will talk to you you're the only one i'm talking to i swear i swear you're the only one i'm talking to you're trying to sell her a fantasy you're trying to sell her something that isn't necessarily real but you know it will get you what you want you sell her that fantasy you sell her that dream that's one of the ways you get a woman you sell her that dream and she sells you the, the, the dream back i've never done this before you're the only one i've been doing this to you asked how many body counts she only one and that one, I wasn't even serious about him. Then she's trying to also sell a fantasy to you of purity. She wants to sell a fantasy to you of who you want her to be, not who she necessarily is. That's why I believe sniff um, holders are. I believe holders are people who want to keep that fantasy alive, which I don't think is necessarily wrong. But it's not something. It's not someone I want to be. It's not. I just can't imagine being in a relationship with someone i have to sort of lie to which i also understand being that being a sniffer is going to be really difficult for me it's going to be really difficult for me to be in a 
to to even start a relationship because they'll probably die out before they even become anything relationship wise or to even to, to, to the maintenance of a relationship because there's a lot of chaos in sniffers you you see a lot of ugliness from my side and probably from us and not probably you definitely see from our side too and this is something that we both would have to overcome we both would have to understand and and in this process a lot of fantasies about who, what i believe a woman should be or how i believe a woman should dress or how i believe a woman should behave towards me would have to die in the process the more fantasies would have to die in given way to a relationship with sniffers if you haven't watched the video i suggest you go and watch the video of i married a monster and psych acts there are two types of relationship i believe that's the topic not topic that's the title i just wanted to say to watch psychics relationship there are two types of relationships all this and there are two types of people in a relationship all this and sniffers and should watch i married a monster it's a very interesting video Marry that, marry this, so you can fully understand what I'm trying to get to and my the, the way I see saw things. Thank you. Bye bye.